Hello everyone. They say there is no such thing as a perfect product. Well, in my nine years of texting experience, I can confidently say they are right. Today, I'm going to compare few important API testing tools out there and identify their strength and weakness while handling cookie-based authentication. I'm Surya Prakash, lead quality engineer at Red Hat, and it's my first time at DevConf. Before moving further, I need help from you all. Can someone help me identify the tools out there based on the logo? Yes, please. I know Postman. OK. This is the first one. Correct. Anyone wants to take a guess? Correct. One is pending, the middle one. Anyone wants to take a guess? Yeah. Yeah, correct. So exactly. Today I'm going to compare all these three tools and identify their strength and weakness while handling cookie-based authentication. You might be having a doubt. Why only Cypress, Restashoot, and Postman, not other tools? So just like our friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, wherever I went, be it a different project or a different team or a different org, wherever I go, I see Restashoot has been extensively used for their API testing need. So next time, when you see Restashoot have been extensively used, it's a testament to its strength and effectiveness, and for all good reasons. Just like Captain America giving tough time to Falcon, Cypress is really giving tough time to other tools out there with its speed and its effectiveness. Even though we have multiple superheroes, right? <laughs> there are people still prefer a simple user-friendly approach. That's where Postman comes in handy. So Postman caters to everyone, like developer, tester, or a documentation engineer. So it, it has an end-to-end user-friendly approach that makes handling API request and response intuitive. Why am, doing, why am I doing this talk? So you all know, authentication is a critical aspect of any web application. It's how we ensure only authenticated users have access to certain resources. With the rise of API-driven development, it is also equally important to identify the right set of tools to manage authentication, right? So that's, how I, that's why I'm doing this talk. Let's see, I mean, I will go into each tool individually and show you a demo. But before that, let's understand why authentication matters. Every user, when interact with a web application, they often go through a set of authentication process just to verify their identity. So cookies comes in handy. So it simplifies the process of simulating authenticated data, authenticated data to maintain the session. I kind of explained how a cookie-based authentication work. Let's say there is a client and there is a server. When a client sends a request to the server, server validates the credential and stores the session in the database and it will respond back with a cookie to the client. Client, as soon as receiving that request, it understands there is a cookie we have to send back to the server. In that way, server understand us back. So that's how a client and server interact in a cookie-based authentication. The Cypress, all-in-one warrior. Cypress is a popular JavaScript testing framework. It has been widely used across the industry now. And it offers uh, built-in methods like uh, get cookies and set cookies. It simplifies the process of simulating authenticated data to maintain the session. Let's see in detail how Cypress works. But before that, let's see about Restashoot and Postman. Restashoot is a popular. Java library for API testing. It also offers a domain-specific language which makes handling API request and response intuitive. I just shown you an example how Restashoot handles a cookie-based authentication. You can just have a glimpse of it, but anyway, I'm going to show you in a demo.
as i said postman is a popular uh, api development tool who I, i mean it caters to everyone from development testing and anyone who prefers a user friendly approach so postman uh, allows user to set the cookies directly within the editor that's how it makes the job easy so who rules the cookie kingdom any guess <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay <laughs> let's see anyone else want to guess just take a guess we will see <laughs> okay <laughs> okay let's see who really rules the kingdom for that i am going to use an api that api has two post method one for creating the token which i explained just back when a client sends a request to the server it validates the credential and it sends back a cookie to the client again right so i have a two post method in the api one to create the token and another one is to validate the token so i'm just going to show you in a demo so everyone knows postman so i'm not going to dig into it deeper so these are the two post method one is for creating token and another one i am creating a room using the token which i received in the first method so let's create a token i am passing username and password here it's a very bad practice so just for demo i'm showing <laughs> don't follow that <laughs> okay i'm just sending the request so we received a response but the response is blank so i am going to look at the cookies we have a token <laughs> so when we sent a request server sent back the token just to identify who we are okay now we have the token next step is to create the room so this is also in post method i am just going to post some junk body out there and i'm going to trigger the request now we got 201 can anyone here guess what is 201 resource created then it worked <laughs> but postman has an intelligence to understand what the cookie does right we ne we never explicitly mentioned we have to pass the cookie to the second post method right let's do one thing there is a cookie button out here i'm going to click that and you can see it already had an intelligent that we have to pass the token to the request so i'm going to delete it okay if i hit the request what will happen can someone guess <laughs> let's see <laughs> anyone else 500 <laughs> okay let's see what did replies oh we got 403 <laughs> that means server not able to understand we are a proper uh, authenticated user or not so that's how postman comes in handy while handling a cookie based authentication next i am going to show you how rest should handles cookie based authentication for this i am using eclipse editor and uh, if you see in the line number 24 i'm creating a session object for cookie filter and uh, i'm just whatever we done in postman i automated it using rest assured and i'm posting the request and after i constructed the body i'm using a filter object again to pass the knowledge of cookie and again there is a room api which we are going to use to create a room after getting the cookie let's see how rest should handles so we got success response so that means server able to understand our request when we passed cookie along with that so that's how rest should handles the things let's see what our cypress does here so for testing cypress uh, with cookies i am using visual editor editor 
and again I differentiated two APIs and here I created an object just to make sure set cookie works after receiving the first response. Can anyone here know how to open or trigger a Cypress execution? Do you know the command? Cypress command. Okay, it's npx Cypress open. I already have it opened here. Let's rerun it. So we got 200 response for both the APIs. That means our code works and uh, server able to understand we are an authenticated user. Now we know how rest assured Postman and Cypress handles the cookie based authentication, but who really wins? So for that, I took two parameter. One is speed and another one is stability. So we should not conclude an experiment with one iteration, right? So what I done, I went with multiple iteration and identify I identified this. As you can see, for my API, which works with browser-based interactions, Cypress have been consistently uh, speeder and stabler compared to rest assured and postman. So the ideal choice depends on one, upon your project priorities. But if you ask me if my project uses a cookie-based authentication and it also support browser-based interaction, then my ideal choice will be Cypress. Rest assured on the other end will be used for comprehensive API testing. It also has multiple methods which Cypress doesn't provide, but it can be widely used for Java-based environment. Yeah. With this, I want to conclude my talk. Thank you everyone for your time. <laughs> yeah. Question, uh, have you tried using Newman for the Postman collections? Is a CLI runner? So for this, I have not used it. A repeat question. Yes, please. So the, your question is Postman Am I used Newman collection on top of Postman and validate this, right? No. No, uh, Newman runner for Postman collections. Yes, okay. yes, yes. So this for this particular experiment, right, particular POC, I did not use it. So I compared the tools as such, like a standalone one. I think we are good. Thank you so much. See you next year. <laughs>